Good afternoon, everyone. These are some of the global weather anomalies that have happened in the beginning of autumn 2018. Good afternoon, everyone. Weather chart shows shock drop in temperatures, UK. I thought, wait a second, we're still in summer because autumn doesn't officially begin until September 23rd. Media is absolutely just biting their nails, hoping that we get into autumn so they can explain the UK going below zero while we're still in summer. And I thought, that's really strange. I started looking around the temperature anomalies, the maps, and sure enough, it does show and also shows that the water temperatures, look how much blue is out there, but at the right, Atlantic, just below Greenland, very cold. And this will continue to affect Europe and the UK is moving forward. But at the same time, check out these lightning strikes in Italy right into the loading terminal. And join me for Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 101 with Piers Korb, an astrophysicist, giving us a forecast for sunspot predictions, Solar Cycle 25. The links to that podcast, as well as the images and stories tonight, are in the description box below. Good afternoon, everyone. Maersk Container Line plans to send a ship through the Arctic. They have models showing at least part of the year it'll be free from ice. Wait, the middle of the century? Weren't we all told it'll be ice-free by 2009? NSIDC... Arctic ice extent, the highest since 2014. Ocean Cruising Club, 22 pleasure vessels affected by ice. Northwest Passage Sea Ice, that red dotted line is this year. The black line is the 1981 to 2010 average. Hey, we're above that. That's not making news. Also, warning from Canadian Coast Guard, heavier than normal ice conditions, please do not take pleasure craft up there they can't rescue you they don't have enough icebreakers and they're overworked at the moment good afternoon everyone Rolf Witches new video seeing our near future by observing the sun he in my opinion is one of the expert forecasters on our planet moving forward with how the sun is going to affect our crops it'll give you a glimpse out at least through the next five years of what's going to happen and as an example, wheat is just going to continue to decline in production, in my own opinion. Here we go. Forecast down 12% from last year, lowest in five years. This is Europe and Black Sea. Weather woes mounting for European Union grain crop, losing almost 20%. I'm going to zoom in on some countries, Lithuania and Poland. Wheat prices domestically in the U.S. up anywhere from $16 to $24 a ton. Ending stocks are far below what they're telling you, but they're going to focus on soy and corn because there's a lot of that. And this video is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Wilting and dying crops down 46% Eastern Australia. This resulted in over a doubling of prices in the last 12 months. Record cold in Japan. Super early start to the freeze season. And the Sunspot Observatory in New Mexico closed indefinitely but why was the fbi with black hawk helicopters there well when they're studying the sun and you start to find space environment and decreasing solar activity and things that might just throw global crop production into a tailspin perhaps that would be your answer good afternoon everyone more excuses why food prices are rising focus on the swine flu now and thanks for the fish. Well, half a million tons of fish meal down in China. They're going to explain rising fish prices by this. Australia, salmonella in the eggs. Thailand, increasing food costs for the animals. And really all the causation is the relational cycle, 206 years. Nice map here from the star man, David Birch. Also, Cascadia, quakes go off. Have you seen the uptick in volcanoes and earthquakes across the planet? These two go hand in hand. But if I have enough money, sure, I'll settle you science for a big bag of funding. I have to prove global warming, though, to get my money. Well, I don't get money because I talk about cooling. Good afternoon, everyone. Nine tropical systems across the equatorial bands in our oceans 
daily sunspot, averaged area, solar rotations, butterfly diagram, bottom right is where we are, top left, 1880, nice match on that. The experts who tell us they're experts about everything have the historical timeline of the spread of civilization wrong. Dorset and Thule people actually taught the Vikings how to spin hair from animals in the Arctic. 100 to 600 AD is when they started it. Vikings picked it up a few centuries later. And if you got to believe in something, even if humans only contribute 0.00012 of atmospheric gases, just tax it. What they're planning is the only way that you'll be able to share links or information is to scan all data being uploaded in YouTube, Facebook, and social platforms to make sure that nothing's copyrighted that's uploaded in there. That is going to create a burden for small platforms, which means more consolidation to control the narrative further. They say it's to allow them to demand payment for copyrighted material, but in actuality, it's a power play to consolidate. So if I talk about Woods Hole, Greenland Ice Melt linked to natural AMO cycle, does that fall in fair use or is that copyrighted? Are they going to suppress that if I try to share it? Anytime we do try to suppress spread of information, Gutenberg Printing Press, Ottoman Empire, they were left in the dust by 200 years in terms of innovation. Other reports say it's more powerful and bipartisan social learning if we share links, yet they're trying to close down the sharing of links. So if I say, look out, the grand solar minimum's intensifying over the next couple years with crop losses, where does that fall? Oh, I use some reports off of the net. That could be copyrighted. They're just going to close that information down. And if that doesn't succeed, they put out a bunch of rules for a journalist to slam and debunk other journalists. Extremely effective tools for mocking and dismissing facts will do the rundown. So where does this last 14,000 years of climate data fall in there? Oh, we're cooling. But then they try to simply shame as morally reprehensible that I would not tow the CO2 line. And we look back 20,000 years of petroglyphs. They seem to have spread continentally, even though they were supposedly disconnected. So where do we go in the future when we start talking about all these changes that are going to affect your life with food prices, population migration, economic downturn as the grand solar minimum intensifies? These rules are being put in place like communist China to control the flow of information. So it's only through a very narrow filter by very specialized forces that want you to get the narrowest of message that they dictate is correct. To sway your opinion and make you move and make your action the outcome from the stimulus. Good afternoon, everyone. Mainstream media has been dying for autumn to arrive, so now they don't have to talk about August snows or freeze and frost events happening in August or what's considered summer. So let's take a look at the cold events on tap. EU set for 20 degrees Celsius below normal temperatures. U.S. going to drop in temperature. Massive floods in Mexico. Sunset water spouts in France. Philippines rice paddies gone. This is the major grow areas for rice in the Philippines. And you can see the typhoon rolled right over that. Good afternoon, everyone. Indonesia defends decision to increase rice imports and prices. They blame weather pests and so on. I'm curious what the so on is. And this year, 12% food inflation. They usually import 500,000 tons of rice, but what made them import 2 million? Oh, all of our jet streams are shifting. All the moisture patterns are shifting. They've done studies. This is in Indonesia right here. And they're still asking why their production is down in agriculture. Asian eyes, Argentina wheat. Why? Russia, Ukraine, and other parts of the world can't supply it anymore. Asia consumes 304 million metric tons. Russia drops from 85 million tons down to 71 million. Australia just absolutely slammed. These numbers of down 13% are just a pipe dream. Massive frost and cold wipe out what's left. In January, contracts reach record highs, 442 a ton. Just looking overall at Asia, they've reconstructed droughts during the Grand Solar Minimum. And this is the intensification forecast going forward from this year up to 2023, 2024. Yet they still don't understand why they're losing yields in the fields. Good afternoon, everyone. Our cosmos revolves in cycles. Historical evidence supports solar output model for climate change. They even reference volcanism. We see it in the ice cores, ash layers. Here we go, one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions, Krakatoa, 1800s, same one, awakening again. 
A thousand miles north, Minbu mud volcanoes start to become incredibly active. What are the chances of these two going off at the same time in the same area of our planet? Solar models, we see where the solar output dropped. Now, can we overlay it with the volcanic aerosols in our atmosphere and the volcanic eruptions recorded across our planet for the last 2,000 years? And if we do get a year without a summer, 